Hey guys and welcome back to 10 Targets Detecting. My name is Camille and this is the channel I try and find 10 good targets every video. So I've been to the gym this morning and I was not actually expecting to do some detecting but I have my jumper in the car because it's got cool after the rain. Thank you my rain dance. The ground is soft. I'm at a construction site. It's freaking awesome when the hard work's been done for you. But they've actually taken a, a bit of the, the soil away, so so many of the treasures, no doubt. You never know what you're gonna find here. Working in between all this long grass and weeds and other crap uh, is my M8 coil. Uh, it will be a sniper amongst the weeds for sure. Um, I've only got a bit of it, about an hour and a half. So let's see what I can do. Excuse my gym shoes. Nobody make any comments. Where are my gym shoes? I'm gonna work around the weeds. Then I'm gonna come back with my uh, proper outfit, my worker boots and my longer pants, and I can push down some of these weeds and get in between the bits uh, that I missed today. Let's see what I can find. In amongst the long grass. Sorry for the noise of that truck. In amongst the long grass. It was in the 90s. And it actually said four bars, reached down after the rain, pulled it out. I saw you. What do we find most of? Kangaroo pennies. It is not a silver, but I know there's going to be one today. Fingers crossed. It cannot see a year. But how nice is a dig after the rain in the long grass? It's not dried out here. I can't see a year. Let's just go. This close to the footpath. In the 90s. That's what I'm gonna dig. We're gonna do it together. Three bars. We can get in. Feel pumped after the gym. Yes, that's right. I seized an opportunity. I was at the gym. I saw this as I'm going past. It had been raining last night. I had the manticore in the car with the M8 coil. So, what do you do? You pull on over and have a swing for an hour. I'm just gonna get that back into my headphones. A little bit of chatter. Oh, I knew it's gonna be deeper. In there, I'm gonna use two hands right back. Pulled it out, haven't, haven't moved. I went reef in here, gave a good pull and Commonwealth or kangaroo? That's the only question. Kangaroo. Look, they're just beautiful coins. I still love them, right? Absolutely. Just pennies are around. 1950 something. Okay, let's keep. All right, punchy, ready? What do you think? And this way? 87s. What do you think? Let's do it together. Could it be our silver that we're waiting for? Oh, you know what, one silver a hunt. That's still a good hunt. So that's all I hope for. And if I don't get any, that's fine too. Oh. Okay, what's it gonna be? It's very close to the one cent, but it's also close to the penny. It fell. It is another penny. Yes, for live digs, 82, 83. So that, that, that could have been, there's our little impression. And there's our coin, 1951. Could have been a two cent piece, really. Like ringing up like that, punchy, 82, 83 target ID. But today, it's a penny. This signal is not as punchy, right? Where are you? This, it's a bit of clip clop, but I'm finding rips are often this sort of clip clop on its side so it's worth the dig for me especially when it's so easy to get in in such an overgrown space that it doesn't matter how my plugs are it doesn't uh, just got to fill these holes in so uh, Cathartic, is that the word? It's so amazing. 
being able to dig in a place like this when it's wet, just fill it in. It's nice, quick, efficient, apart from this bit where I have my scudiba. I will see, just for completeness. Uh, so you know what it was? It is this little O shape ring thing. Funny oval, okay? And to core. The little M8 coil gets in amongst the long grass, gets in under these things, and look what we found. It was a 91, which reading a very high target ID, very shallow, and we've got ourselves a nice big old fat, beautiful coin. That's right. Another ugh, caked on mud. Oh, well, yes, the rain dance worked. We had ourselves a rain. And I've got a kangaroo penny for my troubles. Easy digging. M8 coil sniper pinged it. Apologies about the mud. I can't get it off now. We'll wash it later. Okay, I turned you on because it was very shallow. 89. And just in case it's a silver coin. I've dinked it. It's probably just a bit of trash. So shallow. 89. It's just on finding those other pennies. Quite shallow. They were in the 90 though. And, ta-da, ta-da. Today, it's, uh, uh, here's my hot tip. When you find something that's got a whole lot of mud in it, do not carry the mud around. Give it a good old whackety whack. Another use for your shovel. So uh, that was 89, I'll include it because it's got a really good tip. Get rid of the mud, don't carry it around. It's heavy, it's heavy. I love shallow, in the dirt and the mud. Double jumping. We all know why it double jumps right, because this coil is like a, a D backwards and a D that way, and it goes over both coils. And that's why you get that lovely sound, telling us how shallow, I can't remember where it was. We'll dig. We dig here. We dig here. Reveal yourself. Oh, now I'm going to get muddy on my white gym shoes. But it's all worth it, isn't it? Oh, it is a coin. It's only a one cent piece, though. But that's okay. Better than trash. I just stood up one cent there. And I decided, you know what? There's, there's more. Let's just, let's just roll. Because you never know what is going to be down a... Eh? old driveway. Modern coins, jewellery, where was I? Rubbish of course. People drop stuff coming out of their cars. So we're going to find a rubbish like this guy. Oh. oh my gosh, I don't often dig rusty nails. Let's see if that was it. Oh, let's have another look. No, that was not it, right? That was not it. What I have learnt with the Manti, as I set up my oh, my my Equinox 800 and other detectors, I like to use an iron bias of zero. So things like rusty nails are not masked, right? No, it's another coin. Rusty nails are not masking good targets, right? Imagine if it was a thrip. Sometimes you need to check. Um, and the preset on the preset settings the manticore comes with, with the upper and lower ferrous limits, different technology to the Nox, guys. You can't really get this zero iron bias business. Oh gosh, yes, read your manual, you'll know. Um, but the preset, the iron, the rusty nails are not masking good targets with the preset. That's what I reckon. Anyway, of course, when I do a swing, we can't find anything immediate. No, we don't dig that. See that? Bleeding off into that ferris. That's what those nails are. I always like to, when I do see something like a bottle cap on the ground, I like to have a look at it, what the screen's actually doing. 71, 70, I mean 74 jumping around, but um, gives you an idea of what a bottle cap makes sound like. There's a washer. Oh, 
That's right, people get out. Car doors open up this way. That's right, I like to overlap my swings. I need to concentrate. I just want to find one together. Smosh our lucky day. Oh, nope, do not like. Sometimes you have to swing for a while before you find a diggable target. Here were the others. Getting those other one centers. Fifty eight. Well, let's just have a look what it is. So shallow together oh it's this i don't mind getting down low at some of these sites because sometimes you know what you find you find marbles you find surface stuff you've got to get down a bit lower sometimes and find it anyway let's pick up this trash and we'll uh, see you on the next okay this was an 82 83 right and i've bent on down and i swear to god i was literally just talking about how you bend down you see other things so that was an 82, 83, and it's a uh, coin. It's a two cent piece, right? But look over here. So there's two things that got my eye. Can you see anything in this picture? Just put that in my pouch. That caught my eye. Oh, Jesus, it is a penny. It's a bloody penny on the surface. I did not think that was going to be a penny. Oh, my Lord. You're joking. I promise you that was there. And ready? But this is what caught my eye. This guy. It's not very old. But you find things when you get down low. Oh, look. Even the bloody dirt's gone green. Amazing. Okay, let's swing here, eh? Because we're on out on the dip. Ready? We've lost this much. Look how much treasure has gone from this height. They've taken this trucks have taken the goodies away I of course still have a swing over this because you just there's still things still things to be found do not do not worry let us continue the surface penny marble uh, there was that two cent piece here and we're still swinging in the long grass can you see let me let me shade it it's an 80 and uh, oh Manti stay there just in case I want to get some silver together. Ready? Oh, good fun. Good fun. Having a good time. I am thinking about my white shoes. If it was my kids, I'd be like, why did you wear your white shoes doing that activity? Uh, but anyway, you just chuck them in the wash. Don't worry. Do not worry. Two cents. Let's move on. Murphy's Law. When I put my phone away, boom, stand up and there's another one. It's a 65, 67. I'm including you just in case it is a, uh, you know, a good silver dig or something exciting and I apologize now oh stop what is going on this is so close to the I promise I did not put that there this has just been washed away of course you know I wouldn't put it there but it just seems too good to be true are you joking me oh it's been jogged 1942 Holy moly, I'm just gonna walk around with my eyes, with my eyeballs. Oh my God. That, that literally, that space there. Oh my God. This does not happen to me. <laughs> it does, I'm a very, very lucky person actually. Um, sometimes, I think I'm just always optimistic. Okay, 1942, oh, we're doing a dig, I forgot. Jesus, my eyes evaded, went over there. When I was digging, oh my god, what else? 
we must look. Okay, all right, we're going a bit nuts now, post gym. Post gym and no, uh, no food. Oh my God, I will have to come back here. I will have to, uh, I will have to, uh, you know, come back with my proper shoes and I don't even know what I was digging, 80, 70. Ugh. I got distracted by a shiny thing, oh my God. It's true, you do get distracted by shiny things. I will not use my glove, it's too hard. Oh my god, I'm waffling. This is what a nutso dig for sure. As in, I'm a bit nutso today. <laughs> not my usual calm self. Bloody hell, reveal yourself. Oh, it's a coin. It's a coin. Oh my god, is it big? Is that a bigger coin? And a two cent piece. Oh, I don't want to scratch it, but I bet you I did. It's up wedged. Mm. I scratched it, that would suck. Can you see amongst the grass? Anyway, it's a half penny. Live dig, half penny, and not scratched. Muddy, but not scratched. Service point for the point of the foiled by this let's move on I'm not just showing you that mighty beast of a manticore and that beautiful MA coil I'm showing you how when it rains da, 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 layers of dirt go away and after the workers are here construction workers oh my gosh there was a coin look there's just stuff like look they're only one cent right one cent pieces but just eyeballing these things. Let's hope we can eyeball another silver. How I wish I had a camera person just helping me out, just filming this whole, like walking from picking up those surface finds there to swinging. It's like high 80s um, and I don't want to jinx it, but there's actually like there's small bits of metal, right? Which my, when I pump into art or metal mode, I can, I can, there's a couple of things here. Um, when I go into all metal that I can see the amount of metal, but I don't want to jinx it, but there's just not too much trash. This will be trash because I've just mentioned there's not too much trash. Oh, it's not. It's a coin. It's a coin. It's very shallow at 89. Holy moly. I got myself a spot needs a detector right oh me i do so metal trash over here under here another coin it is probably a one cent piece yeah one cent piece but far out the dirt has just been oh, washed away i'm going to move this star picket work under there work all around there in between these weeds all around there oh my god there's so much more to do and all around there i'm going to do down here as well but feet, you know, two two feet of dirt has been removed there for sure. Look at this, guys. Listen, it's a bit clip clop. Can you see the splodge? It's a funny line. You can't see if I go that way. It's so glary for you. That way sounded good, right? And I'm just digging everything shallow. And look at that on its side. Half penny. Looks burnt. Oh, Commonwealth. Oh, it could be. I can't really see. Oh, oh, let's give it a little wipe. Yeah, one half penny Commonwealth, I think. But uh, I've thrown a Britannia in my pouch before, just recently, and didn't even know it was a Britannia until I got home and washed it. So I cannot see what this is. Oh, mystery. We'll put it in the pouch. 65. It makes sense to be a Commonwealth half penny. Oh, yeah, there we go. George. All right, moving on. The manticore is really doing its job, but I just eyeballing like metal and another coin. This time it's only an Australian 10 cent piece. My discrimination doesn't often allow me to find these. Um, it's sometimes not worth the whole just to find 10 cents, but you're missing out on gold if you don't dig some of these lower numbers. But anyway, too much waffle, let's go. So this light coil is just amazing for my arm to be able to go up and down this gradient, walking along, and 
is this 61, yes, 71 I mean, oh, was it that bit of metal, That's, was it that, no, that would not come out at 71, where was I there, there's just, let's have a look how much metal wrap, there's metal rubbish everywhere, <gasps> that's not metal rubbish, What is that? Oh, is it silver? Is that a ram? For the love of God! 1961. I think I've just found another 1961 on, on my most other, another recent hunt. 1961. Twinsies if it is. I don't know what to say. I'm working this gradient, this little hill, and I'm rewarded. Ready? Now the shallow one. What they left for us? Is it 71, 72? Maybe a one cent piece. Could be something else. Got to keep the camera rolling so we find it together. Hmm, I think a one cent piece. Oh, muddy, muddy. Ugh. But. Never know your luck. Yes, here it is. One cent piece, we keep going. Already, oh, I'm so stoked with that ram. Actually, it's saying 89 one way and one the other. Some, so sometimes this is some sort of building material when it's the 90s and uh, it's not a consistent target ID on both ways and it's shallow. Ooh. I'm digging with my pinpoint, I know. It is, yeah. Copper, a uh, little bit of off-cut piping. This dig is so much fun. This is such a good place. I'm enjoying myself. Oh, she's shallow. I think she's just a bottle cap. Let's have a look. I cannot see straight away. Always easier just to get the shovel in for me. Just lift the dirt. And oh, it's taking too long with one hand and too long for rubbish. I like to see what it is, 100%, need to see, oh, I see a coin, well, there you go, two cents, moving on, I've just hit one, over one hour, and I'm going to call it, there's a, there's 60s, there's a couple targets here, there's 60 something, there's 40 something, we'll just dig them out, and then we'll have another swing, and see what is a leftover for us, but uh, that is, I wonder if I've got 10 targets. I haven't been counting. But I've got a number of pennies, half pennies. Have I done 10 live digs? There's the shilling. There was the surface find. The marble. It's not too bad. And we have another live dig. We can count. So that was the 60 something. Oh, and is the 40 something going to be a thrip? A post 46 thrip? I can't see any year on that. Let's get that in the pouch. And move the metal, move the pinpointer. Quick swing. Oh, we've still got something going on in here. 4243 target ID came up on the, the screen. Just in here. Just in there. Indicate. Loosen all around, eh? And and, and, any imprints, anything? Oh, ring pull, of course, of course, a ring pull with a half penny. Wouldn't be a thrippence with a half penny. Okay, we're gonna uh, swing on, do one lucky last. I can't help it. I reckon this is our last. Let's do it. Let's dig. 
this one together and we'll come back with our proper shoes, some coverings on our legs, so I can just stomp this stuff down. I, I'm, I'm tentatively working around it with my bare legs and these shoes on, but uh, if I come back, I will be covered, not if, but when I come back, I'll be covered and I'll be able to push that stuff down and not, not miss areas. Just in there, I'm going to just get the digger in for our back dig. Oh, I see it. It is just in there. Two cents, can't end on that. I have to find one more. Two cents, 82.83 ish is what it came up as. 82.83. Just, I thought I'd better dig it just in case. Won't do it live, no. And. 82.83 comes in as a half penny. We can't end on that. We must end on a alive last dig. Murphy's Law says this will probably be a one cent piece. But we'll dig it together and see if it can be our last. Just there was a two cent. And just back there was the half penny that we just dug. Oh. Nope. Trash. Cannot end on that. We must do a go again. Okay. Very close to the half penny. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. I'm excited about coming back here and uh, really thoroughly working. I usually like to grid and it's, it's, it's weird for me to go in between and around and, and miss large chunks. Okay, I can never get in with my gloves. Just go out a bit. It's related. It's related to that other bit we just found. Oh my God, we must keep going. Please be lucky last. Oh, I have a feeling it's gonna be two cents. It's punchy, like a coin. So it may be, we'll have a look. G'day, how are you? When are they gonna do something here? When someone buys it? When someone buys it, no one's bought this block yet. Yeah, it's been like this for a long time. All right, we did it. We did our lucky last. Da, da, da. I have a uh, friend, someone, a, a spectator. So I'm going to wrap this up. We have a half penny. Oh, it's got a funny, funny thing on it. I'm going to check. Sometimes when coins are on top of each other, they, or maybe a rock or something was on top of that. I will check while we are running live. I did not use my pin player then. No, I had a feeling there might have been a, you know, a little spill, but uh, no. All right, say goodbye. Well, coins, 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 marble, coins, coins. Uh, I think I've found 10 targets. It's just, it's my hour and a bit after the gym. Oh, I'm gonna get back here. This is just one video of a few, no doubt. And uh, thanks so much for joining me. Let's get home. Let's get out of the gym clothes and then we'll wash up the fines and count them. And let's hope there's 10. Thanks so much for joining me. That sniper coil, M8 coil in amongst this, getting underneath, in between the weeds, in between the long grass. It's a winner. Couldn't resist, had to empty the pouch and count exactly uh, if I had 10 targets or not. And I do, there's 10 or 11, there's more than 10. Then there was, so this shows how many bloody holes. Oh, 10 cents. Uh, ones and two cent pieces. And that's the trash. Smashed it out. Wonder what time it is. Maybe it'll be in here for two hours. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at that beautiful shilling. Love finding. Uh, oh, there was a thrip. Yes, that's right. There you are. There you are, little bit of 
silver off the side, but that's okay. Let's get home. Well, all that vacant block certainly gave us some coins. And uh, since doing that hunt, I've had a bit of a chat to some, um, some locals there and they tell me that there used to be a bus stop there. So uh, very late in the video, I let you know <laughs> that there was a bus stop. So this may explain the pennies, the half pennies. Look at this. Look how beautiful. All I use, ready? This stuff. That's right, welcome to my kitchen. This bicarb soda, that's what I use to clean it. And, ta-da, shiny as. Look, both sides, got that marble, got a bit of rubbish. Not sure what that's from, but I did use it to hold my ones and twos and pieces. And the pennies, they're not, they're not very early pennies. Oh, there's a 10 cent piece. With the exception of this Commonwealth half penny, these guys are all like 1940s, 1950s. Oh, I cannot see on some of them. But what a bloody enjoyable hunt, right? And uh, I'm heading back there very, very soon with that sniper M8 quail. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you next time.